high density slash big city residents. What's the craziest thing you've seen through through someone else's windows? I was staying at my father-in-law's condo during a vacation with my wife. There's this annoying middle-aged guy that loves to talk to anyone who comes down to the pool. So we were at the pool talking to him, and he pulls out this big toy gun. We're like what's that for, and he explained that it shot out salt, and he used it to kill flies. That's pretty cool, I admit. We let him shoot it at us to feel how much force it had, and it wasn't much at all, but I imagine those little grains of salt shred bug wings. Anyway he eventually went back inside and so did we, then we came back out later in the night to BBQ. He was in his home, and walking around naked. Okay, no biggie, just a naked chubby middle aged guy, not the worst thing I've seen in my life. What made this weirdies, that he walked up to one of his end tables, played with his junk for a second, then reached down, and grabbed the salt gun, and proceeded to shoot himself in the twig and berries with it for like 2 minutes non-stop, then headed back into the parts of the house that weren't visible. Neighbor showed us his salt gun fly swatter thing, and then later on that night, used it to shoot himself in the balls over and over for roughly 2 minutes straight. Makes sense. You can salt your meat, if you want to store it for a long time, and not use it. This is gold my friend. Made me laugh. No, it's just double silver. No, it's single gold triple silver. It's expanded in the last 23 days. A naked frat bro with a profusely bleeding nose playing fussball with a lot of intensity, alone. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. When the day is done, and you wanna ride on, cocaine, cocaine is a hell of a cocaine. Imrick James, Charlie Murphy, Hilova show cocaine the proper abonics respect. Not certain a simple reduction of back quote hell of a had anything to do with abonics slash AAE. Don't live in a big city, but this one person in my city has a cardboard cute out of the my pillow guy in every window of their house. Best comment in this thread. Finally not someone being naked. What if it was cardboard cute out nudes of the my pillow guy? He'd still be wearing his shiny crucifix I bet. That's what makes it hot. I've got some of those. Dude has a monster high, tbh. Is there any other option? I just found this reddit, and, thanks to this comment, know that I don't need to contribute my story now. Sounds like it's been covered enough. Before our firm relocated our offices, we officed in one of the Dallas skyscrapers downtown. During the day, you really can't see through the windows of the other buildings, but at night, we could make out what people were reading on their computers. To a degree we circulated an office-wide memo warning people to close their blinds at night because we handle some pretty sensitive cases. One night I was working late and go to close my blinds and I look out across the way and I see a dude sitting at his desk masturbating to bondage I don't judge to each their own but yeah, fair warning to all my skyscraper friends, we can see your computers. How close together are these buildings that you can read what they're reading? Or were you using binoculars slash have superhuman hawk vision? I can't read this comment if I step more than 10 feet from my computer. Maybe just gigantic monitors. On the giant beam of presentations. I once jacked off on a second floor of a restaurant in an office room. What I didn't realize was that the noodles and company across the street watched. Totally fired. The replies in this thread reminded me of a truism I heard once that I think checks out. If you stand naked outside your front door and your neighbors can't see you, that's rural. If you stand naked outside your front door and your neighbors call the cops, that's suburban. If you stand naked outside your front door and your neighbors ignore you, that's urban. And if the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amor. And if a girl has a pierced tongue, she'll probably suck your d and if a guy has a pierced tongue, he'll probably suck your d I like to shove traffic cones up my ass. If you stick a traffic cone up your ass and fart, does it act like a giant megaphone and make your farts really loud? Actually, your butt cheeks make the farting noise, so it'll more just sound like a slightly amplified small gust of wind. I once saw a person in full Spider-Man costume just watching TV in their apartment, mask and all, like all night long. This continued each night for all three nights I was in the city. It made me believe that Spider-Man is real, but that he doesn't really have much to do besides watch TV. Peter B. Parker. Everything was going great. Crying in the shower. 
Did you know that seahorses that they mate for life? Can you imagine being a seahorse and then seeing another seahorse and making it work? Don't invest in spider themed restaurants. The popsicle wasn't that great. Lived in this one complex growing up, kinda place where we were section 8 housing, but right across the street were high end apartments and I think condos. I could see into the kitchen of a bit of a footy. This was 88, 89 so that term didn't exist yet. I was at the time learning to cook myself so this was like a live cooking show every night. Then there was what I know was a mock turtle soup recipe. But at the time it was like I was watching someone just do obscene things to a few calf heads. Looked over and they were splitting them to get the brains out. Nailing tongues to a board and peeling them. Gore all over the kitchen. I feel like this should get more attention than it has been. Split cow heads are a crazy ass thing to see regardless of context. When you really start getting into different foods. Not so much. Friend does a big Greek Easter dinner every year and we enjoy spitting the head meat. The cheeks man. Every animal, cheeks are something no to many people know about. Faces f***ing delicious. Florida man, is that you? Why can't all boomers be like this? Sheep's head was consumed a lot locally to me, black country England. I'm not sure if it's still a thing these days though, but I can understand it. The area used to be very heavily industrial, so people wouldn't want to waste any bit of meat. Definitely the guy that uses his large screen TV to masturbate every night with his curtains wide open. His p interests are pretty bland. Just your standard p start getting pounded by a due to s face you never see. I'd have to actively try not to see this. That's how easy it is to see. Well it's 10 p.m. Better not look out the window cause then we'll see neighbor man getting his w on. Get a laser pointer and shoot it at his screen until he closes his curtains. Best use one of those million lumen torches for guaranteed results. Nap a nice little red slash green dot that wiggles around on his screen. It's more subtle and irritating until you realize exactly what it is. Put one in each hand. But then how would he get a free w Browsers ain't cheap. Sort of the reverse for me. My so can't keep her cloths on and she doesn't care about the blinds. Completely assured no one is looking till one day our neighbor's blinds fell down. There he was, d in hand, red as a beat, and staring right as us. Record scratch. This is me. No not that guy with the gorgeous girlfriend. The other guy. In the window. Intro music starts as flashbacks of life events begin with voice either. I bet you're wondering how I ended up here. D in hand, red faced, staring at my naked neighbor and her dude while I was stroking it. Well, lem tell ya, it's not every day you find yourself owing $180,000 to the North Korean mafia. Somebody once told me, the world is gonna roll me. I'm liking this Spider-Man reboot so far. In Toronto, I rented the top floor of a house. The house behind us was set back from the street, and the houses on either side were almost in front of it, so you could barely see it from the street. They had planted tall bushes and tress. So you couldn't see the hidden house. But we could. From our fire escape slash balcony. We almost never saw who lived there. I was having a dart up on the fire escape one morning. And I see their back door open up. And a guy in his early to mid 40s come out in a bathrobe. He lights a dart as well. We give each other a little open palm wave and nod. A minute later. A black woman comes out in a bathrobe. Looking to be naked underneath. And she takes a drag off his cigarette. Then another woman, a white woman, comes out, also in a bathrobe, and admonishes the first two for smoking. The guy puts it out, and they all go back inside. A couple of months later I noticed the guy, the two women and four kids at the local park. Two white kids, two mix ethnicity kids, all around the same age. That dude was living large on the down low. If this thread's taught me anything, it's that I need to move to Toronto, apparently. I live in Toronto, and I've never seen naked strangers in windows. Toronto is wasted on me. Dang it, Joe. You're hopeless. The only semi-naked stranger I've seen in Toronto was at the airport. This lady with a very loose blouse was getting out of her car as I was dropping my dad off. Her tits fell out. She looked at me, winked, and then put them back. She was quite pretty.